Hey guys, what is up? Mist here with another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Mini i8 wireless backlit wireless keyboard. This is probably one of the best keyboards you can find for your Android TV device, Fire TV stick, or basically any device that needs a keyboard. It's an all-on keyboard, makes it really easy to type and navigate your device. Stay tuned, I'll show what this is about. Okay guys, once you open up the box itself, all you basically have is the keyboard itself. Nothing um, really else that you have in the box. Looking around, in the front you have a full QWERTY keyboard. It's actually backlit, which I will show you in a second. The top left here you have your media player button. So you have your uh, play, pause, your volume up and down, fast forward, rewind. And here you have quick shortcuts to your media player. Uh, email if you're on like a computer or something to mute uh, left click uh, the touchpad here you have basically if you tap once it's a left click if you tap twice you can scroll up and down if you tap with two fingers that's a kind of right click and here you have more shortcuts for uh, searching home internet and right click most people are going to use the directional pad which is this right here then you have basically the full uh, QWERTY keyboard Basically, you can, it's really comfortable to hand. Like if I start typing here, you know, as you can see, um, it's really clickety. Um, on the back, you basically have a compartment where you are gonna see a rechargeable lithium-ion battery, and this is the actual dongle that you plug into any device, like an Android TV stick, um, a Fire TV stick, an Android box, Nvidia Shield, Xiaomi Mi Box computer. Uh, it comes with its own uh, charging cable, which is of course uh, micro USB. You plug it in, you charge it, you get more than a couple days worth of battery. And this is actually in your actual device. So let's say I plug it into my actual device. You go ahead and seal this up. Once you actually seal up the actual compartment, it, you know you can barely tell. You have a really quick on-off switch right here. If I turn it on, it is backlit. Uh, basically how it works is once you are not using the remote for more than about 30 seconds to a minute, the uh, backlit will actually turn off. As you can see, though, that was kind of more like 15 seconds. Once the, actual, once the actual turns off, you can go ahead and leave it on your couch or anything to save battery. It kind of goes into like a sleep mode. Once you pick it up and then start using it, it goes ahead and turns the backlit back on. And now we're going to go ahead and plug it into our Android TV box and show you how it actually works. Okay guys, so once you actually have your device, in my case here I have a MS8 Pro L, you take your little uh, dongle and go ahead and plug it here into the side. And basically once you plug it in, it's kind of all automatic um, plug and play. No need to download any sort of drivers or applications to make it work. And right here I have my actual uh, device. I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's turned on. So there you go, now it's on. Now I can go ahead and start using uh, the device. Um, as you can see here, this is the main screen of my uh, MS8 Pro L. I can go ahead and press up, down, left, right here uh, really, really easily. It basically works really, really easily right away. So if I go ahead here and start using the mouse, as you guys can see, while I'm moving the mouse up, down, left, and right, it works uh, well with no issues. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the actual keyboard function. So I, for example, go ahead into the app called uh, Downloader. Let's say you want to go ahead and start downloading the app called File Linked. If I go ahead and start typing here, get.droidadmin.com, and then I can go ahead and hit Enter. It's really, really easy to use. I'll go ahead here on the side and click OK. And as you can see, much easier than using your actual directional pad um, up, down, left, to right, going on the keyboard, all the little icons. Um, it's really, really hard to um, make it work uh, that way. So I'm going to go ahead and click back here. Click done. If I press on the home button, it brings me back to the home page. So really, really easy to go back to the home page and start, you know, if an app is crashed, if an app is frozen, the home page is like the regular home page on any other uh, device. Now go ahead, for example, go into any app, like for example, let's go ahead and try, uh, I don't know, um, FreeFlix HQ. 
show you that it is compatible with uh, lots of other apps. It doesn't matter really what app you're on. It works um, no matter what app you are. So here's the home screen. Uh, as you can see, up, down, left, to right works perfectly. I can go and switch to TV shows, movies, anime. Everything works. Let's go back home here. Let's actually go ahead and launch an app that requires a mouse. Let's go and look for an app here, like for example, uh, AZ Movie. Let's open it up. So as you can see right now, if I switch using the mouse, I can go ahead, for example, let's say I want to click on animation. You know, it works really, really well. I can still go up, down, left, right using the actual uh, directional pad. But if I want to go ahead and choose a movie, for example, I can go ahead and choose like Wally. -E, double tap. Open it up. Let's go to videos here. It's really, really easy, just like an actual touchpad. You can go ahead and choose Wally -E here and start playing. So it's uh, really, really easy to use. Um, really, really nice to use as well. Uh, I prefer this over any other uh, standard uh, keyboards and mouse because it's kind of all in one. Basically, you have everything in one keyboard. And that is basically it, guys. If you guys have any questions, or comments, or concerns, let me know down in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.